Oh Lord, this gonna be a long video. I like to fight a little dirty, baby. If I opened up and gave, then would you hurt me, baby? Hey y'all, <laughs> welcome back, beauties. D Beasley here. As you can tell from the title, girl. Who child, we got a haul, girl. We got a haul, we got a haul. So, yeah, I wanted to come on here, show you these little goodies I got or whatever. It's it's not a lot, but it's a lot. I need to stop shopping. I need to go into, you know, Makeup Anonymous or something because I don't even know what to say. Anyway. As always, this is a judgment-free zone. Don't come on here judging me about me buying makeup. Judge your mama, okay? So, if you all want to see what I picked up in this most random haul, you know, of randomness, then, well, it's really makeup, to be honest with you. It's straight up makeup and makeup essentials. So, yeah, if you want to see what I got, keep on watching. <laughs> Baby, my son Kool-Aid be good. Yeah, this is one box, okay? So, let's just go through it, okay? Okay, first up, I picked up some makeup essentials from Camera Ready Cosmetics um, for my kid. I'm not sure if y'all ever heard of Camera Ready Cosmetics, but they provide some of everything that any makeup artist or makeup lover actually needs. So, I picked up a few things from there. First, I picked up two of these Bedellium Tools Concealer Brushes. These are some of my favorite concealer brushes. So I just picked up two of those. I actually get a pro discount with them. So I actually love shopping on CameraReadyCosmetics.com. They five. They're actually located in Dallas, which every time I go to Dallas, I try to stop by. It's actually fun to touch the makeup products rather than like looking at them online or whatever. So I get to check out a lot of pro products that I never normally see here in the Arkansas area. Um, I always um, check them out when I go to Dallas. So yeah. The next product I picked up is this Inglot Mattifying Under Base Makeup Primer. And I haven't been able to use this yet. I think I, did I use this once? I may have used this once, but I wasn't going nowhere, so I couldn't even like test it out for y'all. So I don't even know how that worked. I saw Kyra use it here from on YouTube, and she was saying how she loved this mattifying base. So I was like, let me try that out, girl. Grab that from camera ready, because I know they're going to have it. Next, I picked up two of the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is by far the best brush cleaner ever. This is for like spot cleaning. It's dope for that. It's nothing like you don't want to use this to deep clean your brushes. This is specifically for makeup artists who are doing a lot of clients. You got a, a wedding and you know what I'm saying you need to spot clean a brush because you need their brush right then. Although you should have enough brushes, but this um, cuts down on cleaning time. But this is not to take the place of a deep clean. This is 99.99% uh, bacteria free, dries fast. You don't have to worry about your brushes being wet. You clean it and it works. So this is Cinema Secrets. Love it. I picked up two of these. This is a 16 ounce. I should have got the 32, but I picked up two of the 16 ounces. I also picked up the six ounce spray bottle, which I'm already halfway through it. That's how much I use this stuff. So. I got that. Another, that's all I got from Cinema Secrets. But another um, makeup item or makeup kit item that I picked up from Amazon. These are some like eyeliner ones. But I don't know how I feel about the disposable eyeliner ones. Because it was like really hard to use. I'm not even going to take them out. But that's all I got. They're, I mean it's not exciting at all. They're eyeliner ones. Like there's nothing exciting about eyeliner ones. I mean maybe for makeup artists but I don't know. This next order I placed on ColourPopCosmetics.com. I got three of the uh, BFF4 lip liners. This is the one that came out when uh, Makeup Shayla had her collection. And hers was in like a black packaging, but this is their deepest lip liner. ColourPop's lippy pencils are the best. So I picked up three of those because it's been out of stock for a long time and I was like, I ain't no telling when it's going to come back and start. Next thing I picked up from ColourPop is the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I went ahead and got the deep dark one. I don't know why. Any reason why. But I told y'all I love this bronzer. It's a cream bronzer. Smells delicious. Ugh, I don't know why or what it has in it that it smells so good, but I'm going to have to read up on it. Girl, I can't even get the top out. It just has a really pleasant smell, but that's what that looks like. 
this is the deeper one i have the shade dark already so this is dark and this is the newer one that i picked up this is deep dark so you can see the difference there i love this bronzing cream um it's very very pigmented very easy to work with goes on smooth easy glides on like you don't have to there's no tugging going on like i really really like it so i grabbed this one just to see you know a difference between the two um because i feel like when the summertime gets here you know get my little get my little tang going on or whatever i'm gonna get a little darker um since i'm gonna be able to use that one like to be real with you so i picked this one up just in case just in case you know Oh lord, it's gonna be a long video. Um, I placed an order on Morphe.com. They had a sale where it was like an additional 40% off the sale, but I had already placed an order and I was kind of pissed off about that. But they had a sale that was an additional um 40%. They had a sale where it was an additional 40% off the sale item, so I went on there to see what they had. I also placed like a random Morphe order, so I'm gonna show y'all everything that I picked up from them. First off, these two were on sale. These been on sale for a while. This is the Sweet uh, Peach by Sweetie. She had a collab with them, and this is her setting spray. It's called Sweet Peach, and these were probably like two dollars because they were normally five, but just like a mini setting spray. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh, that smells good. They should have made this in a full size. Why did you make this in a sloppy? They should have made that in a full size. That smells good. Their continuous uh, mist setting spray bottles like are the best. Y'all already know we rocks with them. But they should have made this in the full size. Because they made Jeffree Stars in the full size. And his don't, his don't smell as good as that one. Um, next with that order I picked up this Morphe E5 brush. I saw Savannah Silva here on YouTube. OG, triple OG, double OG YouTuber. She used this to put her cream bronzer or cream products on that she uses to bronze so it's like a fan brush but she used that to apply like cream products right there so i was like let me grab one of those just to see and i only got this one because i did not know but i was trying to grab two of everything else but yeah i got this one again this is um during their sales but i think i had ordered something and they came back and told me it was out of stock these two um, like I said, I was ordering stuff in two, so I don't know why I didn't order this one. This is the Morphe M106 brush. This is a uh, dome brush um, or a pointed dome brush. I thought this was similar to my Morphe M106, but they don't even sell it no more. No, the M107, but they don't sell it anymore. Let's see. This is just a pointed dome brush or not even pointed to be honest with you. But that'll be good for like blush, contour, you know, stuff of that nature. I like brushes like this. With that same order, I picked up this 8C Cool Tone or Cool Pro blush palette. That's Morphe's packaging for their blushes. This will be perfect for my kit. I have the other one. I broke one of them. But that is really pretty. Really, 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 really pretty. But yeah, I have the other one. I forgot the name of that one, but I have that in my kit too and I love it, but I broke one of them, which I was mad. And they don't even have it to replace, so. Uh, on this next Morphe order, I picked up a bunch of palettes. So, um, they have these new nine pan palettes. Um, I saw these in Ulta after I ordered these online and waited forever for them, so. But this first one is nine you catch the sun. Girl, it's so bright you can't even see it. But these are the shades. These remind me of ColourPop's palettes, but I feel like these are going to be better. And it has like a mirror too. Full size mirror on all of them. But those are really cute. I thought these would be cute for the summertime. Spring and summer to be honest with you. We trying to play this summer. We ain't going to play too much. Because we don't need no problems. And this next one is the 9D Painted Desert palette. It says 9 shades to warm things up. This, this is what that looks like and these are those shades i think this one is going to be my favorite one y'all know i love shades like this i got a bunch of palettes to play in here like we done did a lot of hauls okay oh girl let me stop okay 
go stop what you're doing okay let's stop i know i want y'all to start watching the video but y'all need to go and support my girl locks are dope like girl these are some cute earrings like wait what use the code beauty you can save 15 percent on your purchase hey put that right there boom there you go because baby if you ain't following locks are dope what are you doing okay locks are dope dot com okay my girls like she's my girl okay that's Kyra says. This is the Pretty in Peach palette, which I was like, okay. And this says nine shades that keep it flirty. So that's what that looks like. These look a little pale though. I ain't gonna lie to you. But it's a peach palette, so. These are definitely reminiscent of the nine pan. I want to say it's the nine pan eyeshadows from ColourPop. I want to say they're nine. But these have the names on the back, girl. We need to know the names, honey. That's for all the girls that want to know the names. You know what I'm saying? Lastly from Morphe, um, I picked up the 39S Such a Gem palette. This is just like my infamous and one of my most. If you didn't see my um, favorite palette video or my palette tag video, I'll tag it up here so you can see that. This is the same size as the 39A palette. I've been, I think this was on sale for like $18. And I had to get it because it kept going out of sale and I never picked it up that first time. So I was like, girl, I got to get that. So here's what that looks like. Y'all, look at this palette. <laughs> oh my God. This screen spring. Spring, come on. Come see us. And this one has pressed glitters in it. It has some mattes. Um, the only difference I noticed, um, this whole row is shimmer and the 39A palette is the whole row is matte and I believe the James Charles palette which mimics the same size, I want to say the middle of it is all matte as well. So this one has shimmer shades, but all my friends had this palette and I didn't have it. So yeah, I got it on sale for $18 and it's normally $39. Mm. Next, I picked up an, a purchase from Sephora. Now, I'm not really sure when I picked this up, but all I know is this palette was on sale for whatever reason. Whatever holiday just passed, I think. I don't remember. Hell, I got it. I got it on sale. So, I finally got the Amreezy palette. Girl, this is old. It's old, girl. It's new to me, though. It's new to us. <laughs> it's new to us, girl. We gonna play it is. But this is the infamous Amreezy palette, girl. Yes, ma'am. It's so pretty. That's what those look like if you've never seen it ever in your life. But I know I'm late to this. I didn't know if I wanted to get it. This is a 14 pan eyeshadow palette. Anastasia never does a 14 pan eyeshadow palette. So that's what's really unique about this one. It's a little bit longer. I think it, has, it costs a little bit more, but like I said, girl, I got it on sale. I did the pickup also from Sephora, which I'm really enjoying that too, where I don't have to actually go in the shop. I can just order it online, pick it up, pay for it when I get there, and move on about my life. I got something else too when I pick this up, but I don't even know where it's at. And I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all. Um, I did pick up some items from Ulta. Okay. First, I got the Morphe Bake and Set Translucent Setting Powder. Um, Natasha said that this was a good powder. I watched a lot of Natasha videos. <laughs> um, she's a freelance makeup artist in Atlanta. And she was talking about this powder saying she really likes to use it with her clients. So I was like, girl, I want to try it out. I want to try it. I love set, good setting powder. So they have a couple of different shades of this, but I grabbed this. Because um, I had some Ulta points to use, girl. So I was like, let me get these. Let me get these. I want that too. And yeah, that's how that happened. I also went in there and snagged up. I thought I got like five, maybe six, but I have picked up. These are the Kylie concealers. These are on sale for eight dollars. Okay, so I got two almonds, two chives, an espresso to conceal and contour with, just to try it out. And I think I tried the almond and the chai, and I like them both. So this is the concealer. This is the um, espresso one. I'm gonna use to cream contour with. I picked up the shade. Almond, I don't know. I think I put chai, one of my chai's in my kit. This is almond. This one is chai. Uh, Natasha also said that her bronzer was a really good bronzer, but I don't think they had them in the store. That is chai. I think I put the other one in my kit, so. I got those. And baby, I was snatching them up. People weren't even getting them. They ate Zaza's. They normally $27, but I guess as a makeup artist, like I'm like, girl, I can throw that in my kit. 
Next, I picked up some items from NYX. I got this. Also, another item that I saw Natasha was talking about. <laughs> I picked up this uh, brow glue. I used it in my brows today and I really like it. I actually picked up two of these as well. I put one on my kit and now I can't find it. So I also picked up the matte liquid liner, which I thought I had it because I normally have stuff stashed away in my little look extra stash. This is what the packaging looks like. Everybody swears by this liquid liner. I put it on my eyes today. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It reminds me of the balms liquid liner because theirs is really really mad as well and you know they always have a 50% off sale so next from Ulta I picked up this Ofra press powder highlighter I have never this is in the shade Rodeo Drive I don't have anything of Ofra's except for stuff from like beauty school and my beauty school kit was kind of whack I ain't gonna lie to you but Ofra has come a long way since then you know I love a good highlighter and this was the mini size, so I was like, ooh, I can try that out because the other one is like super big. And then this is a magnetic closure. I thought that was cute. You ain't got to struggle open them up because I always struggle opening stuff up. Next, I picked up this infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation in a powder. Um, this has been a hot commodity, honey. This is the shade Copper. I think I need to try Hazelnut, but Copper look like it'll do. I think I need Hazelnut, though, but... Girl, this has been like, I heard that this is like a TikTok situation. And I ain't really on TikTok. I'm on TikTok, but I ain't on TikTok. Um, but I heard this was a great powder, so I grabbed one to try it out. So I picked up this Anastasia brow pen in the shade Ebony. Um, today I used the NYX brow pen, which I should have hauled that with you all, but girl, I've been using it. But I picked up this Anastasia brow pen because I want to do a full face of Anastasia products. That's what that looks like. Yeah, I grabbed this because I was looking for this next item and they didn't have it, so I had to order it online. I got the <laughs> Anastasia Brow Freeze, but I heard this is, this is pretty good right here. This is what the packaging looks like, the Brow Freeze. It's been sold out everywhere. I couldn't get it online. They didn't have, no, I couldn't get it in the store, Sephora or Ulta, so I ordered it on um, Ulta. Because like I said, I had those points, so. But that's what the packaging looks like. It's so pretty. And it's just a clear whatever to put on your brows. So, stay tuned for that video. We are going to do a full face of Anastasia Beverly Hills, baby. Because I got plenty of ABH, okay? The last thing I got from um, Ulta is this Essence Longwear or Long Lasting Eye Pencil. It's a brown eyeliner, but I'm going to use it as a lip liner. So we can do like some perfect nudes. Um, I also picked up this. I picked up this Absolute New York one from the beauty supply store as well. It's a brown one. But I was going to try this one out just to see too. So I got those. Lastly is my Beauty Bay haul. Y'all, let's talk about Beauty Bay. Okay. I love them. Okay. I love them dearly. Comma, however. Oh, I waited long for this order, y'all. These, I think the, I got spoiled the first couple of times when they just came. But then we had this snowstorm, okay? So I ordered before, I ordered at the beginning of February. We had a snowstorm, whatever. It came and went, and baby, I was still waiting. I didn't get these orders until March. And I, like a fool, placed another one like around Valentine's Day because they was having a sale. <sighs> Child, I didn't get these orders till the first week of March, okay? And I really want to say the end of the first week. <laughs> Because uh, I don't even know why. I really don't even know why. But that's neither here nor there. I think I've gotten my fix of Beauty Bay. You know, I'm, I'm cool. We can play with this, you know, play with these palettes and move on with our life, okay? I have plenty to play in, too. I have plenty from the last haul. That's why this haul is quite unnecessary. But, I mean, I don't care. So, judge your mama. So, first off, I picked up four of these pigments from sample beauty they were like buy one get one 15 percent off or something i don't know the deal was too good for me to pass it up and i wasn't gonna do it so this one is garland oh it's like a glitter oh, oh shit oh wait a minute oh you i know you learn i know you learn it really ain't nothing in there don't look like it look at that i don't want to waste the dough so we gonna bring it back this one is Sean Maloney. This is like a penny looking one. 
Oh my goodness. Do you see that? Girl, I gotta put the hand up there because it keeps trying to focus on me. This next one is the Cleo pigment. Oh wow, I got this stuff all everywhere, y'all. Try not to waste it. That's pretty. Because I almost forgot which ones I picked. <laughs> When you buy too much makeup, you forget what you be buying. And I opened this one up. This is the shade 29B. I think this is like a color pigment. These other ones are like glitters. Yeah, this is like a mustard yellow pigment. I can put that all over my lid. Ooh, that's going to be so pretty. Next, I picked up two of their blushes from Beauty Bay. Their brand is a very dope brand. They're very pigmented. This first shade is Coral, which I was going to put this in my kit. That's just really cute for spring, y'all. This one is Cosmo. Say so what? Hello, spring. Hello, spring. <laughs> um, next, I got a few palettes. Um, this first one is the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collab. Girl, this was on sale around Valentine's Day, and I was like, girl, let me get that. Let me get that. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's This is old, but it's new to us, girl, so we're going to be excited. She has, like, the two worlds. Um, Yeah, she has the two, two different sides, and then when you open it, it literally has two sides as well. It's really pretty. And baby, I know these going to pop off. These shades like this, these foily shades from Beauty Bay, like they are crazy. Like crazy, crazy. I wanted to get that. I've been looking at that for a while and I think it had went out of stock. I wasn't able to get the Mama Mama Mitchell one in Beauty Bay. I missed out on it. So Beauty Bay has such good deals. Like I would gladly wait on the, I would gladly wait on the package because it takes forever for them to come in. This uh, next one is the Romantic Palette by Beauty Bay. This is their newest um, palette. And it came out, it came out like around, it came out a little bit before Valentine's Day, but it didn't give you time to like get it, do a Valentine look with it, like type of thing. But I like these, sh these shades. I like these tones of this palette. Y'all know I love shades like that. I be trying to get my clients to, you know, want to wear more color, but everybody loves a good neutral, whatever. So I'll be the one. I'll be the one. I'll be the guinea pig for y'all. Like it's cool. I want to do somebody's makeup here on my on my channel, but I'm gonna have to like actually make time to do that. Like it can't be any of my clients because like who have to actually go somewhere because baby, we ain't got time for that. We be on the move. We're going. We're going. We're going next. Next. And now. <laughs> Last two palettes are also from Sample Beauty. These are the Equalizer 1 and 2. This first one is the original Equalizer palette. This reminds me of the Stacey Marie palette. But Stacey Marie palette, can't nobody touch that palette. Like, straight up. This one is the... the look at this magic girl. That is so cute. I love that. 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 Girl, look at these shades, y'all. Can y'all see them? That look, I don't think y'all can see them. Hold on, where the shade at? Right there. Girl. Ooh, even brunch. Look at those shades. Can I put them in my hand? God, those are girl. I just want to put all of them all of my lid. Like that's how I want it to be. Those shade. I don't know what formula that is. Those are kind of like those squishy, like those squishy, like. Let me see if it says it on the back. It doesn't say. The equalizer two contains thirty dreamy shades of nudes, oranges, and soft pinks. The palette contains fifteen silk. Silky mattes and 15 matching foiled eyeshadows. Okay. So those are just foiled. That was a pretty. Okay, beauty. So that was my haul. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too much. I feel like it was too much. 
it's always too much but it's okay i'll put any discount codes that i have down below so y'all can check that out and if y'all want to follow any sales that i may come across you may want to follow me on instagram check your girl out beauty by d beasley on instagram um as well as on snapchat which i'm never on snapchat actually and i'm barely on tiktok but you can follow me there so um yeah check out my instagram because i post a lot of like sales that i may find out there um don't forget ulta's 21 days of beauty is coming up girl so you might be able to find you something check there because they always tell you what they're going to have on sale so you may be able to see something that you've been wanting and you can stock up on it or catch it while it's uh, at a discounted price so again i hope y'all enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time i'll see you all later bye beauties